Does the Jeep Gladiator really need anything added out of the box? Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. So does the Jeep Gladiator really need anything added out of the box? What I'm talking about is once you go, you find that perfect Jeep Gladiator for you. Do you really need to add anything after the fact? Is there anything that it needs that it doesn't come with? Well, there are a handful of things, I think, that the Jeep Gladiator needs. And we're not talking about anything extreme. You know, there are things that are cool to have, like bigger tires and a lift and maybe a, a cold air intake like the Air Raid that gives you a more guttural, throaty sound. But you don't really need that stuff to, you know, use it, especially if you're just using it as a grocery getter or a daily driver or something like that. But these things I think you definitely do need. First of all is the bed mat. You need a bed mat even if you have a spray-in liner because it's like ice back there without it. Things float around and fly all over the place. How do I know? I've done it. I've hauled stuff back there and then when I get home, it's laying in the front of the truck and I gotta crawl in there and try to get it or it's just banging around all over the place. I shot a video a while back, not in the Gladiator, but it was my Jeep Gladiator, or my Toyota Tacoma rather, and I put a, a cooler back there and it was or is a plastic composite bed. So while it's not sprayed, still the same kind of idea and stuff just slid all over the place. That cooler slammed into the sides, into the top or the front of the truck. It was insane. Put a bed mat in. Those things are rubber. They will hold things where they're supposed to be. It's amazing to me how well things stick to the bed once you put one of those in. Next up is one of my favorites and one you can do yourself. You don't have to spend a fortune on and that is the Gladi board. The Gladi board is awesome. Now, even if you choose to not go with a bed mat, the Gladi board will keep stuff back at the back of the bed because it creates a wall. And you can go with different sizes. I'm running a two by four. It satisfies my needs. I'm not putting anything tall in there that can fall over or anything like that. However, if you do put anything in there that you're worried about falling over and maybe a two by four is too narrow, go with a two by six. Heck, go with a two by 10 if you need to. It's awesome and it's very cheap and simple to do. You can do it yourself. Next up, and this I think is primarily if you're hauling anything around, whether you're taking the Gladiator on trips or whether you're going to the grocery store, and that is a tonneau cover. You know, I didn't have a tonneau cover on my Tacoma. I still don't. I actually put one on my Tundra, but it comes in very handy for throwing stuff in the back to get it out of the cab. You know, imagine if you're going on a long distance trip somewhere and you've got luggage and you don't want it to get wet, obviously, and you've got a bunch of people in the back, so you can't fit it back there. So you just throw it in the back under the tonneau cover and you don't have to worry about it. It's an awesome place to haul stuff. Same thing with groceries. You know, you can put groceries back there without it, but if you live in an area like I do, where it's really hot, bright, beating sun, you don't want your filet mignon cooking before you get it home, right? Or your ice cream melting. This will help keep it down a little bit as far as heat goes and the sun beating on everything in there too. Of course, it's still gonna be quite warm in there, but nonetheless, protected a little bit more. Now, this next one, and you know, I know there's tons of different versions of this out there, but it is the cell phone mount. You know, over the years, I have tried umpteen different cell phone mounts from the ones that go in your cup holder, the ones that connect into your vents, the ones that stick to your windshield, which by the way, is my second favorite, the Skosh. Uh, a suction cup with a magnet on it is probably uh, a close second, but not quite as good because when it gets really, really warm out or cold, 
that suction tends to break loose and your phone will fall down. So what I have is this right here. And it actually bolts into holes that exist already in your Jeep. And it works perfectly. I've been using it now for, gee, I don't know, several months. And it's the perfect spot for you. And as you can see, I have a second option up there. Now for me, that's for mounting a camera to be able to take shots out of the front of the truck. However, you can angle it a little further to the passenger and they can put their phone up there too. Just a handy, awesome way to mount your cell phone. The only downfall about it is, is you do have to have that plate on the back of your phone. Um, it's a, a metal plate so that it sticks to the magnet. And if you're one of these folks that carries around one of those purse cell phone cases, you know, that opens up and has all kinds of stuff in it, might not work too well for you. But I would imagine you could probably still mount that little steel plate to the back so that you could still adhere it to this mount. Now, the last one, and I love this one because it's so simple, there's no install involved really. And that's the tray that fits down on the handle in front of the passengers on the passenger side of the truck right over there. It just slips in behind there and it gives you a spot primarily for passengers, but also for you to slip a cell phone or other stuff that you wanna store there. It holds it well. It's just a handy, very easy little drop-in tray uh, to give you a little bit more storage. You know, we never seem to have enough storage in vehicles. I don't know why that is. I think for some reason, we think we have to take all kinds of stuff with us and then we have no place to put it. This just gives you a little bit more storage room and I have found that particularly with passengers, they like to stick their cell phone in there, you know, because we have to have our cell phones with us constantly and they have to be in eyesight. And if you're going on a long enough trip, sooner or later, you're gonna wanna take a break and set that thing down for a little bit, right? Rest your fingers, your thumbs, your eyes, and that's a perfect place to put it. And I have found many passengers utilize that spot. I'll tell you a quick story though, it's funny. Uh, I rode in uh, a different Jeep Gladiator not too long ago, and I was the passenger. And uh, being used to that, I went to stick my phone in that slot, in that space. Well, they didn't have that little holder, that little tray area, it fell right through. It was just kind of funny. I thought, what am I doing? This isn't my Jeep. You know, they didn't have one. They should, but they didn't. Anyway, just a few little uh, handy additions to the Jeep Gladiator that it doesn't come with out of the box. Things that you should add, in my opinion, just to make life easier right after you pick it up. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. Is there anything else I've missed? And I'm not talking about major mods, exhausts, and lifts, and tires, and all that stuff. I'm talking about just handy things that your normal daily driver, someone who's maybe not into the more extreme mods and things, might be interested in. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.